Hello everyone, good Sunday morning. Welcome back to Golden Final Spin Cafe. Yes, it's been a while. It's been, what? Two or three weeks. Three weeks. And there's reasons behind that. And we'll, we're gonna talk about that. Well, we might as well get that right out. Uh, we were not sick, we were not sick at all. We we're actually perfectly healthy. We're perfectly healthy. But we wanted to get used to the quarantine, the new norm. I guess that's what everyone's calling it. Yeah, everyone's normal. calling it the new normal. I don't like to accept it as the new normal, but no. that's what everybody's been calling it right now. Yeah. It's temporary. Temporary. But we had to get used to staying inside, staying home. Uh, you aren't in school, so you, you had to get into a she had to get into a routine for school, yeah. School and stuff like that. That's why our table's not here because we actually have her, uh, Becky is set up right over to here, and that is her where she does all of her schoolwork and stuff. So, what are some of the things that we've been doing for the past three weeks? Well, if you guys know me and follow me on Instagram, you know that I really love working with wood. I have a little garage, it's not very big, but I have a lot of the tools and stuff that I need to do certain things, even though I don't really know how to use a lot of them the proper way. But I decided to make a few things. The first thing I worked on was your... My guitar. Your guitar. We finished that. Finally finished it. We showed it in our last video. So as we were working on it over the past few weeks, we taped, or not taped, but took photos of our process, which is what these are. It was a big guitar. She came out with the design, and so she drew out how she wanted it, and then I cut it out. It's all made of... Uh, Oak, very, very heavy. Probably one of the heaviest guitars I've ever picked up. Oh, definitely for me too. And I played with a lot of guitars. Yeah. I didn't know that they people really wanted guitars light, but dense. And But, you know... Well, I think I know what you mean. You want the bulky feel. You want it to look big and mean, but you also want it light because when you're playing with around your neck and standing up, that hurts. I don't play guitar myself, so I had to learn all this on the go. And how this all came about, Frank from Channel 33 RPM, he bought a kit, a guitar kit, and he showed trying to put it together, had some issues with it. I believe they rectified things with him, but he had a spare neck. And he reached out to me when I was living in New Brunswick, and this was over a year ago. And he asked me, you know, would you like to have this? Maybe you can utilize it. Maybe you can make a guitar. I sat on that guitar almost a year and I finally pulled the pen and said, let's do this. Let's make it. <laughs> that was only because I was bugging you for months after a while. She was. She was. It was like constant, at least once a week. It got brought <laughs> up. And I was feeling guilty because Frank sent this neck to me and Becky wanted it and wanted me to build it, but I didn't know what to do. So I had to do a lot of research. I had to find out where exactly to put the pickups and the bridge and all the other parts that I have no idea what they are because I don't play. So this is the finished product right here. And we showed these photos already on our Instagram. If you don't know, we have an Instagram account. Follow us on there, GVS Cafe. I put a lot of random stuff on there. Uh, lately, it's been things that I've been building. And we, it does work, trust me. I decided to name her Livewire, and then I burned it in on the neck up there. So this is the neck Frank gave us, and then these are all parts we kind of smashed together. It's completely out of, oak and I, the body is based off a of warlock I believe it's called and then I did some different things I added this onto it and stuff from the shape this right here is called a super distortion can't remember the rest this is a neck 59 up here they're really awesome pickups they have some heavy distortion and this is definitely the heaviest and loudest guitar even when it's completely turned out it's crazy loud and that's the back it's nothing fancy so I guess to show you guys what it sounds like, I'll play a quick riff. But before I do, I should warn you, you're going to hear a little bit of ground noise and hum because we haven't quite got the bridge completely grounded yet, but it's almost there.
that. <laughs> but, Very yeah. good. That, I like that. That's all right. <laughs> I was kind of making up half because I cannot remember how to play that song half the time. So this is something I was working on as well. This is one of my old guitar keys I've had forever, and it used to have like this water forest painting that somebody else did and it was really nice but it had a bunch of writing right down the middle so I decided to do something myself and so I'm huge on the 80s so I decided to go with this 80s bright pattern and then I sprayed it so that I can bring it outside and whatnot. I'm working on another one but that's kind of a mess right now and I gave up on that. But yeah this is for my 12 strings and I'm really excited about this one. And lastly, of the things we built, Dad built me this guitar stand because I have a lot of guitars. They're not all here. I have one in my room. There's another one over there that doesn't fit on here. And then we left spot for one more if I ever have another. But it actually looks really nice. It fits quite well with these guitars here. Okay, so some of the things I've been doing to keep myself busy is I've been redoing my room. And part of that was Dad gave me a bunch of records. I have, still have a bunch of pile of them of old ones that are scratch or doesn't want anymore or just cannot be played and then I painted them up in just like this weird aesthetic style of just random stuff and then I pinned them on the wall using tacks. Also I built a cribbage board, a crib board, and a really big one and I thought that in my head that I was making this for the first time people would never see this thing before but apparently they are it already existed and after i made it i had a lot of older folks a little bit older than me we were like yeah my grandparents my parents had one of those apparently my mother-in-law has one uh that was built maybe by her her father we're not sure but she has one but anyhow i built one i uh it has something to do during the quarantine the top part, the actual board, is made of maple and then oak for the legs and it collapses up. So that's what we've been up to during quarantine life over the last few weeks. Trying to keep ourselves distracted and busy. But now we have a surprise. Yes. Remember, I don't know if you guys watched. If you watched our last video over three weeks ago, I said that I was going to reach out to some artists because here on YouTube, we can't play other artists or any kind of music that has copyright on it. And we would get a strike. And I feel really bad for that because the only reason we want to play it is to show people that it exists. We want to introduce the songs that we like the albums that we like to show you what's out there but their algorithm doesn't recognize doesn't understand that so I reached out to uh, Sash Jordan she has a beautiful new album that just came out and I ordered a signed copy where's it sign right there sign right there and Sash Jordan uh, did not respond to me personally, no. But an individual within, and I believe it was her manager, uh, of the manager of building, uh, working on this album, reached out to the label and got back and said, yeah, go ahead. So we're going to play a few songs off of this. I think it's very important to showcase Sash because this album is her first blues album that she's ever put out and we've been anticipating, waiting, wishing that this would come out for years. She has a beautiful blues voice and she did a fabulous job. So stay tuned for that near the end of this video. We're going to play two of my favorite songs that are on this album. How beautiful it is. Look at this, a smoky blue transparent album so that's the surprise that we have but we also give out surprise packages where we give out uh, once a month we also give out surprise packages and that's where we put together albums that are from our own collection that we no longer want and we send it out to one lucky person who supports us supports our channel comments on our videos and every month for even though this is quarantine coming on, we have May coming up. And you might as well say who, we normally don't say who we're giving it to, but we are this time and the reason why. So we're giving it to channel 33 RPM because he gave us this guitar neck. We thought it was only 
be our way of thanking him for this guitar neck because I'm so grateful for this guitar so this is our way of thanking him. So we're going to put it together a little package and send it to Frank. Frank doesn't have to show it on his channel. It's not a way to get a show out. It's just our way of saying thank you. Thank you for the neck. Sorry it took so long. You're probably wondering if we were ever going to build this guitar but I kind of procrastinate on a lot of things. Next, I want to show you a few albums that I did pick up recently and one that I feel so, I want to say a different word, but I'll say silly because I thought that it had singing on it and it did not. Oh, so you picked up some... Like, An instrumental album. Yeah. And that shows how much I do not know about certain albums or artists. I'm no expert, but I knew the name. And that's this one here. Booker T and MG's Green Onions. Amazing album. Amazing album. It has Green Onions on here. Uh, I Got a Woman. Mo Onions. Twist and Show. Behave Yourself. This is a repress, I believe. It was, you know, it was just released in 2020. But it's instrumental. So... All you guys watching, you probably already knew that. I did not, but it's a really great album. I picked this one up. Another album that I got, I ordered online, and it took a while to get here, and I wish that it came a while ago, and it's because I, uh, at the campground that we stay at, we seen this lady, Leon, and that's Leanna Williams. I hope I'm saying her name right, but she used to be married to Merrill Haggards. Merrill Haggards? <laughs> <laughs> and I do have an album signed by her, but this would have been perfect to have signed. This is called Heart to Heart. I didn't even know that it existed. This was put out in 1983. They had duets on here. It's really amazing album pictures of them kidding around joking around what are they doing there they're, it looks like they're having an arm wrestle wrestle so yeah i wish i had that she probably would have really enjoyed seeing that and brought back a lot of memories the last album i'm going to show you i'm in a well i was in a uh mail order uh for records through uh, Bandbox, I believe it was, and you pick an artist, and then they'll, uh, if you link up your Discogs uh, account, they'll look through, and then they'll send you an album that's not on your Discogs list. Well, I was doing Neil Young for the longest time, right till the end, and uh, they sent me another Neil Young. And the funny thing is, I actually got rid of this Neil Young because I did not like it. I know. Like, I have all, a lot of Neil Young's and I didn't like an album. This is one album I did not like that Neil put out. And this was uh, produced by Jack White and Neil Young, recorded in Jack White's studio. Uh, this was put out, what was a couple years ago now, 2014. This is something about it. I did not care for it. So I actually traded it off. But because it wasn't on my Discogs list, it got sent to me again. So now it's back in my my collection. I'll give it another try. I forget what it sounds like because I bought it when it originally came out and didn't like it then. But who knows? Maybe I'll like it again. Maybe. Not again. But maybe I'll like it this time. So that's everything that we've been up to. Sorry that it's been three weeks. I think everyone understands because we're kind of all in the same boat, uh, trying to find a new norm, a new routine, getting into things. And I think we're into a good routine now. So I want to thank you all for joining us and finding out what we've been up to. And I hope you're all staying safe. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. So whenever we do upload, because we're going to try and upload more often. But yeah, don't forget the bell notification because that is important. And stay safe, guys. Yes, stay safe. And remember, keep spinning. Used to be so easy.
Get up there. 